Hello, this is Pat Soper with Sockeye Consulting. Today, we'll be taking a look at the 401k setup in Sage Intact Payroll. Let's take a look. First of all, we'll be in Intact, and we're going to go over to our payroll application, and we're going to go into our system pay modifiers. Within our system pay modifiers, we'll be creating a new modifier. And it's going to be a special modifier called 401k pay modifier. We'll be giving the modifier a name. We'll call this 401k. We'll give it an effective date of 1-1 of 22. No expiration date. Deferral limit. We'll put in the current year's limit, as well as the catch-up limit. How much of the earnings are deferrable? We'll say 100%. And the contribution limit from all sources, including the employer match, would be $61,000. And whether or not we um, apply the match against the catch-up contribution, in this case, we want to say yes. What are the maximum earnings that will match against in a year? We'll put in a million dollars. Again, that's going to depend on your company's plan. Taxable earnings will be reduced by, let's put in an Oregon state income tax and a federal income tax. Okay. So this will be our pre-tax um, deduction before the calculation is made. Select an option, time card earnings, and matching rate. We're going to say we're going to match at 50% up to a maximum of 6%. So at this point, we can go ahead and save this particular record. Get confirmation has been saved. Now let's take a look at how that is set up on an employee record. So let's go to our employee setup. Payroll employees. We'll choose the employee. And we're going to come here to the pay modifiers. The pay modifier, we're going to select the 401k that we just set up says does not have an effective date. So we're going to add an effective date of the beginning of this year or whenever that employee was eligible or becomes eligible. And then we can put in a pre-tax contribution amount or rate. And this would be for our pre-tax 401k deduction withholding. So let's put in 5% for the employee. And let's say we also offered a Roth plan which is an after-tax plan. So we could also note an after-tax contribution amount or rate. So let's say we want 3% on our Roth plan. So all in all, the employee is going to contribute 5 for the 401k plan and 3% for the Roth plan. Do we want to apply the catch-up if the employee is eligible? Sure. And then we're going to go ahead and say, save on that record. We'll get confirmation that that record is saved. And then once that happens, that employee will start having those reductions made for the contributions to their 401k plan, as well as the employer match being made. So thank you for watching today and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.